Here at the UN Climate Conference in Bonn, Germany, representatives from almost every country in the world are gathering to discuss how to combat global warming. It's the 23rd time that we've done this, so you'd think it's a settled manner, that climate change is real, it's man-made, and it's a danger to all of us. Think again. There's still some people who refuse to believe that climate change is real. US President Donald Trump is the best example. He's called climate change a hoax time and time again. So how can we convince people like President Trump that the planet is in danger? Well, it's time to bust some climate change myths. Myth number one, global warming can't be real because the winters are getting colder. Global warming means the average temperature of the Earth is increasing. So it's not important, you know, what is the highest point and what is the lowest point of any particular year, in fact, of any particular month. What is important is the trend. 16 of the hot hottest years ever recorded in history has been over the past 17 years. In fact, 2017 was the hottest year on record. Before, it was 2016. Before that, it was 2015. You get the idea, right? Myth number two. Climate change is normal. The climate has changed before and heat waves have happened before, right? It is normal for climate to be changing, but the human-driven forcing is more than 10 times faster and much greater than any of the natural processes. Now, the temperature has risen such that even the coolest years are warmer than what they were 50 years ago. We're now out of the range of natural variability. Over the past 800,000 years, we have never seen the extreme temperature and the extreme CO2 concentration in that we have seen right now. So yes, there is a certain degree of variability, but never, under any circumstances, the excess that we have right now. Myth number three. There's no consensus that climate change is really happening. Yeah, there is no consensus unless you ask the Nobel winning scientists that study climatology and the scientists from around the world who have studied this for decades. I would like to know if there's consensus that gravity is actually working upon us because it's the same thing. The scientific academies of every nation in the world have uh, found in their scientific deliberations that climate change is real, that global warming is a threat, and it presents an existential risk uh, to the people of the world. Myth number four. CO2 limits will harm the economy and the switch to renewable energy will cost a lot of jobs. That is one of the silly stories and that's what we call a, a, a Trumpism. The truth of the matter is California with its strong renewable energy, its very far-reaching greenhouse gas reduction set of policies, our economy grows faster than the national average. That is very good proof that uh, green energy, uh, wind, solar, uh, new electricity grid, battery storage, electric cars, hydrogen cars, all of this creates new jobs, the jobs in the future. Myth number five, climate change isn't harmful. Well, just look at the world around us right now. Look at all the catastrophes that are natural disasters in areas like uh, um, Johannesburg where we've had floods. I mean, in 20 minutes flat, uh, you had rains that were pouring down that uh, washed cars away. Uh, you had sea level uh, rising to a point where it was going into the city. That has never been the case before. So if uh, anybody is saying that, uh, you know, there's no harm in, in, in the change of climate, I think they need to have their head examined. Myth number six. It's too late anyway. We're duped. And there's nothing we can do. No, it's not too late. You can see we still have coastal cities, right? We would like to keep them. We're all doomed eventually because we end up in the grave. But we don't have to have the civilization end up in the grave if we stop our uh, greenhouse gas emissions, and we can. So pessimism is really stupid. We ought to take a intelligent, cautiously optimistic approach. Still not convinced that climate change is real and that we need to get our act together? Well, then here's one last message from climate leaders. Usually when the entire world gets behind something and you can think of all the things the entire world's behind, which is climate change, and you're still saying it doesn't exist, maybe it's time to look in the mirror. We are faced with the greatest challenge that humanity has ever faced, but 
we have a choice. We can either continue business as usual, or we can actually make a difference, make different uh, policy decisions, shift capital, encourage even more and more exponentially progressive technology, and we can actually create a safer, more stable, better, and more just world. It is happening. You either believe it or you don't. You either become part of the solution or you remain a problem. But it is happening and we need all hands on deck.